Here's how to fix missing emojis on Android. Now, if you have your Android phone, but you're not getting the latest emojis that other people are getting, or maybe iPhones have, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's swipe up and get into WhatsApp here. Now, if I'm in WhatsApp, you'll be able to usually see a lot of various emojis on here. Now, let me get out of here and tap on the emoji icon, and you can see all of these emojis. I can scroll through and see all of these. I can also swipe over and see a bunch of emojis. Now, if you see WhatsApp emojis, and maybe you get the latest ones in WhatsApp, maybe you're not getting them in other apps or vice versa, one option is to always tap on the search icon. So, of course, you can always tap on search, and you can search for that specific emoji, say you wanted fire or something like that. And you can see if it pops up if you search for that specific emoji. That is one option. Of course, if you're in a different app like the messaging app and you search similarly and get in here and tap on search and search for fire, you should see the exact same list no matter what app you're in. Now, if you find that you're not showing the exact same list, there are a couple things we can do. Let's hop out of here. We'll swipe up and get into our settings. So tap on the settings icon, and let me go back to the beginning here. From settings, we're just gonna tap on the search icon at the top right, and we're gonna search for keyboard. And on here, you can see a bunch of different options, including the Samsung keyboard. So tap on the Samsung keyboard or whatever keyboard is associated with your phone, whether it's a Google Pixel or anything else. Now you'll be able to see a bunch of different things on here. And you can see on here, suggest emojis and suggest stickers while typing are both turned on. So make sure those are turned on so that it essentially will basically show those emojis if you want them. And you can see a bunch of other things associated with your keyboard. I would recommend at the very bottom hitting the reset to default. Now here, we're gonna reset the keyboard settings. And then we're gonna erase personalized predictions, erase personalized touch, and clear the cache finally. So basically go through the process of resetting your entire keyboard associated with your phone. This should help all of the emojis reset. After we've done that, let's go back to the beginning again, keep going back, and we will scroll down, keep scrolling down, until you see the option for software update, and tap on that. Now from here, tap on download and install, and check to see if there's a software update for Android. You can see I have the current Android version 15. If there is an update available for your phone, essentially a lot of those emojis come pre-installed on the keyboard and they come along with Android updates. So just update your phone to the latest features, the latest version. So the last option you have is to head into the Play Store here and we will tap on search and we can just search for another keyboard. So keep in mind, I'm using the Samsung keyboard, but a really popular one here you can see is Gboard from Google. It has 10 billion plus downloads. So if you don't see all of the emojis that you expect to see, maybe just download a different keyboard, including giving Gboard a try. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.